Imagine a world where communities could come together to address air pollution. Well, that's exactly what happened in Guildford in the UK. And the findings of this project were published in the paper by Abhijit et al. in 2024 in Sustainable Horizons. Using affordable sensors, they measured air pollution, including carbon dioxide and particulate matter, both indoor and outdoor. Spoiler alert! The results were quite eye-opening. CO2 levels rose significantly during crowded events and particular marrow also increased driven by dust resuspension and ingress from the outside. And while the results are important and very interesting, it's a method that really impresses me. This innovative research used a citizen science approach, which aims to incorporate citizens in the scientific process. To do so, two organizations partnered up, the Guildford Living Lab, so researchers from the University of Surrey, and Zero Carbon Guildford, an NGO formed by local citizens and local organizations aimed to reduce carbon emissions. And they came up with an impressive co-development. I mean, look at this scheme. The researchers provided the technical expertise and the locals provided local knowledge, which truly makes this study a reflection of what happens in Guildford. And next to the development of these measurements, public engagement was also key. For example, the Life Air Pollution Data Tool was also developed, giving people real-time insight of air pollution. This system, this LAPD, was also guided by community feedback, ensuring that the scientific knowledge and the life air pollution was communicated in a transparent and understandable way. Once more, seeing this cooperation between both the researchers and the local community. And at the same time, an interactive quiz taught visitors of the Zero Carbon Guildford building what air pollution does on a daily basis and how they could change certain habits. And this even inspired new citizen-led initiatives, such as measuring air pollution at schools or at busy roads. Again, this amazing feedback loop, or even more than a loop, like this amazing spreading of knowledge and ideas and initiatives. In my opinion, this collaboration was a success. And I would definitely recommend to read the paper. There are really many interesting results which I could not cover in this video. But for me, this approach and this study shows how citizen science can empower citizens and researchers. Citizen science makes air monitoring and other ideas accessible, inclusive and inspiring. And most importantly, it puts the power to change things back into the hands of the people, which I think is definitely necessary looking at how big the problem of air pollution is. So I would say power to the people and let's all try to drive meaningful change and create a world where people can breathe better air. Thank you.